Hi, this is Brad Harrison with Wheatstone and Audio Arts. Today we're going to look at setting up mic preamps on the DMX console. I hope you've been able to watch the other two videos in this series, the previous ones on DMX setup and audio setup, so you'll have a better idea how to get to this point. Now to demonstrate this, with the DMX control surface here on the table along with its engine, which I've turned around the other way so we can see the connections on the rear. We will also need a microphone and we'll need a short RJ45 cable. The type doesn't matter. You'll also want a very small flat blade screwdriver with a 3 32nd of an inch blade like this ubiquitous green Exolite. For the first step in this process, I'm going to take the XLR mail connector on the end of my microphone cable and I'm going to plug it into the mic preamp labeled Mic 1 now. If you're using a condenser mic, it will need phantom power. At the bottom right below the microphone connector, you'll see a small slot labeled plus 48 volts. To turn on the phantom power, what we'll want to do is slip our screwdriver very carefully into the slot and flip that switch to the left that is toward the microphone connector. When we do, we'll see a small yellow LED come on behind the hole next to it indicating that phantom power is now activated. To adjust the gain of the preamp, I can insert the same screwdriver into the hole marked gain right above the switch. So the preamp is now passing mic audio, but it's only passing it so far. These are patchable mic preamps, which means that the signal is only coming out of the RJ45 connector labeled mics out. This is a stereo, or in this situation, a dual mono connection with mic 1 on the left side and mic 2 on the right. I'm going to take my short RJ45 jumper and I'm going to connect one end to the mic out connector on the engine and connect the other end right into the analog input number 1. At the factory, we pre-configure analog input number one to be dual mono rather than stereo so the two mic inputs can be separately routed in the system where needed. I've brought the microphone over by our console and our next step is going to be assigning fader control and bringing it up to check audio. Press the encoder at the top of the strip, dial up BL01 mic one and press again and now I'll assign the strip to program. Turn the fader on, flip the channel on, and there you have it. Mic audio on the meter is not the same as what I'm speaking now because I'm doing this in post-production, but you get the idea. The name, BL01 Mic 1, is the factory assigned name. If you want, you can change the name in Navigator like we did with the phone in the previous video. 